Well, I think the biblical and the Christian and Jewish view of time is one of the great distinctives of the Bible. And you really have, in effect, three views of time in the world and in history. The first is cyclical, which is the Hindu and the Buddhist view. Now, obviously, there are cycles in nature, spring, summer, autumn, winter. And there are cycles in our lives, birth, growth, maturity, decline, death. There's nothing wrong with cycles. But what the Hindus have done is project that onto the very universe itself. And you have a rather meaningless view of history and individual life. For instance, in the cyclical view, freedom is not freedom to be an individual. It's freedom from individuality. So that's the cyclical view. The biblical view is what's called covenantal. God has purposes, providence over history. So it's going in his direction. But as we come to know him and trust him and obey him and discover our gifts and calling, we become junior partners in God's purpose and history. And that's why it's called the covenantal view of time. God's providence and our partnership in obeying our callings. The third view is just chronological, and that's the secularist view. In other words, tick-tock, tick-tock, a succession of moments. There's no meaning, because after all, everything comes from chance. So there's no meaning in history. If we want meaning, we have to make it ourselves. So you have optimistic secularists who believe they can be the masters of history. And then you have people like Samuel Beckett who are much more pessimistic. History is desiccating us. You think of a play like Crap's Last Tape, reducing us to the meaninglessness of scattered moments.